From the very beginning, my goal was not just to implement another project, but to create a unique facility where innovative technologies are intertwined with artistic inspiration. We looked for inspiration in world masterpieces such as Seoul Tower and Tokyo Skytree, and we are proud to have personally implemented such landmark projects as Ostankino TV Tower and VTB Tower in Moscow City. Our task was to make this object an integral part of the night appearance of the city. The stages of work on the project have been carefully thought out. At first, we developed the concept, trying to find the perfect combination of the media facade and the architectural features of the tower, so that it not only harmoniously fits into the urban landscape, but also stands out vividly against its background. After approving the concept, we moved on to choosing the equipment, 185 powerful RGBL spotlights and LED modules meeting the highest international standards were selected to create unique visual effects. This solution allowed for bright illumination of all 10 levels of the tower and guaranteed reliable and long-lasting operation of the system. Special attention was paid to the installation and commissioning work. The height and complexity of the structure imposed serious technical requirements and our team faced a number of difficult tasks. However, the professionalism of the specialists made it possible to successfully overcome all difficulties. It is important to note that we have provided an energy-efficient mode of operation. From 1700 to 100 hours, the tower shines in full, and from 100 to 500 hours, it goes into the background mode, which significantly reduces energy consumption and extends the service life of the equipment. This project is of particular importance to me because it was the first international success of Altima R. It not only confirmed our ability to operate at a global level, but also opened up new prospects for further expansion. The positive feedback from Almaty residents and tourists convincingly demonstrates the correctness of the chosen destination. Looking to the future, I see new challenges and opportunities for our company. We are already developing projects that can integrate advanced technologies more deeply into urban infrastructure and transform the appearance of entire cities. My advice to everyone who strives for innovation in the field of outdoor advertising, do not be afraid of ambitious ideas, invest in high quality research and development. This is how projects that can inspire and surprise are born. The technologies were chosen based on the customer's specifications and we did what the customer wanted. Accordingly we chose these modules, they were optimally suited to the task. Based on the technical specification we knew the brightness required by the customer, the necessary viewing angles. Accordingly, based on the terms of reference, these modules with this power and viewing angles were chosen. The module with MT diodes as a light source was taken as a basis. All this was in the customer's technical specification. He wanted to use a system with online control of direct broadcasting from a computer. Accordingly, the main source of signal is a computer with software baking. Then there are intermediate controllers for modules and controllers, respectively, for projectors. That is, it all works on a single protocol and as a whole and is controlled by the entire tower. The principle of online control is, roughly speaking, a second computer monitor. That is, there is a monitor, because it is not quite square, it is rounded, it is slightly different in the upper part, in the lower part. There is a certain area of the monitor in which every pixel of this tower is drawn. And if you display an image on the monitor, it is this image that is entered at each pixel. The maximum power consumption is calculated to be 220 kilowatts. That's if the tower is lit 100% bright white with all light sources. So it doesn't exceed the stated power. But these situations are very rare. Nobody's going to broadcast white. So the actual power is much lower. So at night, the tower trunk works at about 10% of brightness. In the evening, it is usually not run at more than 50% brightness. Probably because of this, it can be said to be energy efficient. We use modules with RGB LEDs, so it is not quite correct to compare their energy efficiency with white LEDs here. That is, if we want to do some lighting, we use white LEDs, 
they naturally have more energy efficiency. Here the goal is to introduce some pictures, yes, that is to design, change colors. Yes, we use LEDs, yes, they are energy efficient, but still the difference between white and RGB, it is significant. Also used quality power supplies with so-called active power correction, which again allowed to save electricity. The main difference is the module, the Ostankino TV tower was designed in 2014, which is quite a long time ago. Back then, we were limited in technology. We were limited by the Moscow government's decree, because there was such a decree that even on closed facades, the distance between modules had to be twice the size of the module itself. Because of these restrictions, it was impossible to raise the daytime brightness at that time. And the diodes were not as bright and the angles were quite different. And again, ordnance restrictions. There was no task to make an image in daytime on Cactab as such. Therefore, the pitch there was chosen on the assumption that the image is broadcast in the evening, twilight time. And the image as such was not important there. They asked for some pictures so that some primitive text could be displayed. Again, the diameter of this tower is not so large that something big could be placed there. And big again looks at a distance, 